Hello friends, welcome to this session. In our earlier sessions, you have seen using Postman, you can create Azure Event Hub namespace. And in that namespace, you can create Event Hub. In today's session, we will use Postman to send an event data to this Event Hub. And then we'll use a client to receive that event messages. So let's get started. So log into your Azure portal. And you can see here, I've already got an Azure Event Hub namespace. And within that namespace, Event Hub, I have an Event Hub also here, which has got message retention for two days and partition count as well so we'll use postman today to send an event to this event hub and then we'll use a client to receive that message from this event hub so open postman and we'll create a new collection i have already created the collection which i will share in the description of this video so i will import it So the collection is imported now and we have here one access request to get the token and then we'll send the event and we can send an event using publisher id or we can send an event to specific partition to run this we also need environment variables which are created here and i will just walk you through these variables which we need we need tenant id subscription id resource group name access token which will be populated when we get access token with the request grant type service bus namespace so this is the namespace which which we already created and the event hub path this is the event hub name where we will be sending our message the resource which is eventhubs.azure.net this is different from the resource which we use when we create namespace and event hub so those resources are different client id this is a service principal app id which will have access to send messages to this event hub and the client secrets which is the password for that service principal publisher id you can choose whatever name you want and it will publish the message using this id partition id so i'm just choosing it as zero you can send your messages based on the partition in my earlier videos i have already explained how you can get these values for tenant id subscription id client id client secret those things you can find out by watching those videos and you can create a service principle to send those events to event hub using this command so we'll go back to collection get access token for sending event and this is the url which we use to get the access token in body will pass these variables and let's send this so we have received beta token and in test i have passed the response and updated access token in environment variable so if you go back and you can see access token is updated now we have received access token but before we send an event we'll set up our consumer client so that we can see the message or the event which is sent to event hub is actually received on the client side to do that you can use one of the clients which microsoft has provided go to this link data streaming with event hubs using kafka protocol and here they have provided java based client which can send messages and which can receive messages so we will not use the producer client producer because we are using postman to produce the events into event hub but you can use the java consumer client and it provides detail how to configure it you can download it from the github and this is the path where the consumer will be placed after downloading this client from the github you have to configure it so there will be a file consumer.config in that you have to replace the bootstrap dot server with your event hub namespace endpoint and also you have to provide connection string password now these two things you can get it from portal you go back to portal and under event hub namespace shared access policies root manage shared access key you can pick one of the key strings i have picked up the primary one so copy this this will go as this will go in the password here and the bootstrap server that you can give it from overview and this is the host name which you'll get so we replace that now after saving the consumer.config open test consumer.java file and replace the topic name with your event hub topic the event hub which you have created and then you are set to start the consumer client to run the java client now you go to wsl go to the java consumer folder and then run these two commands so first is maven clean package and once you have done that then you execute the second command to run the test consumer so i will start the test consumer now so test consumer is now in listening mode and it's continuously polling the event hub so now we'll go back to postman and send an event so send event and you can see here this is the url which needs the namespace and the event hub name in the body in the json format you can pass the event data and then send status is 201 so event is sent now let's check the consumer client and you can see it has received 
the message now we'll send two more messages one using publisher id in the url you can pass which publisher is publishing this message so in the body i am sending an xml format message send 201 created we'll send one more message which is nothing but sending to a specific partition in the event hub so i am trying to send this message to partition zero so this is also sent let's see in the consumer client and you can see both the messages are received immediately so you can see it's easy to send messages to event hub and consumer client can receive those messages instantaneously i hope this session has helped you we'll see you in next session thank you